Hi, I'm Tiffany Maria, and I wanted to do this video testimony to encourage those who are lacking in faith, to encourage those who are feeling worthless, to those who are feeling like God has no use of them. You know, none of us are perfect, and we're all, we all go through, th through things in life. And I, again, I'm doing this to encourage you. And it's something that I use, an encounter that I had that encourages me along my journey. <clears throat> it was October 2012, and I work in the healthcare field. And I was working in South Georgia at the time. And it was a Monday. And I was sitting in an area with some residents. And one of the residents looked at me. It was an older Caucasian lady. And I say that, I say older because everybody in a nursing home is not old. And I say Caucasian because sometimes we put color or race on, on things and we try to separate ourselves because of that. But God doesn't see that. So, but anyway, she looked at me and she said to me, lay hands on me and pray for me. And I looked at her, but I was obedient and I did it. And she began to speak in tongues. And, you know, praying for people is something that, you know, I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But for the prayer request to come and for her to begin to speak in tongues is something that I was not expecting at that time. On Wednesday, I actually had to go see her. When I went into her room, she was lying in the bed and I had to get her out of the bed. She Again, she looked at me and she began to prophesy to me. She said to me, she said, go. She said, Go to TV, go to radio, and whatever God does, do not take the glory for it. She laid hands on me and she prayed for me and she imparted into me. The atmosphere was so unbelievable. She had on some white Reebok classics, classics that I had put on her during the course of the time that I was there. And when I got ready to put her back into the bed, she said to me, take my shoes and walk in them. And we all know that she was not talking about natural shoes. She was not talking about those white Reebok classics, me taking those and walking in them. But she was talking about her spiritual shoes. And as I began to leave the room, a visitor came. And I asked the lady, I said, do you know her? And she said, yes. Because sometimes people come to the nursing home just to visit people. So I particularly asked, I said, do you know her? And she said, yes, this is my prayer partner. This is my friend. She said she was in, she was going to nursing homes, praying for people, and they were getting healed and going home. And you know, at the time, I took it all in, but I, it just, I, at the time I really just took it all in because it was just so overwhelming at the time, just everything that was happening because I didn't expect, you know, for something like, I didn't expect the, any of that to happen, of course, who would have, but a couple of weeks later, this lady died. That next day, that Thursday, I went, to, I went to work, and that morning, I had a particular resident. She had had a stroke. She was another Caucasian lady, an older Caucasian lady, and she had had a stroke, and now she was giddy. She had slurred speech, and, you know, sometimes she would put things together. It just didn't make any sense, but she had so much joy, and I just loved, I just loved um, just being in her presence. But this particular day, I went into her room and she was sitting in her chair beside her bed. And I kneeled on the floor beside her and she had her Bible. And, and it's just like all of a sudden she looked at me and she said, Tiffany, she was clear, was, she wasn't slurred or anything. 
She said, Tiffany, I see the glory of God on you. God is going to give you the eyes to see and the words to speak. Do not be afraid. And then she laughed because that's what she did. She laughed. And then she said, do not be afraid. And again, this encounter, I'm thinking about it. And I'm, you know, as I go back and I think about the encounter that I had in that time period, I just couldn't, sometimes you just can't, I just can't explain what I was thinking at that time. But in the course of this same week, I had a coworker come to me. And again, she is not a Christian. She's Indian. And she is not a Christian. But all of a sudden, these mission magazines appeared at the job. And she brought one to me and laid it on the desk in front of me. And she said, Tiffany, this is you. And I was like, I just looked at her because I, I was not expecting her to do that. But you know what? These in, This encounter came to me at a time when, when I was being called a bad parent. Um, somebody was saying they was going to take my my child from me, just all kind of different stuff was going on. It seemed like my kids, it was different things going on with them. It just, just was no rest in our life. It just seems like everything, like I felt like I was in a pressure pot. I was going through things with a house and, you know, just a living situation. It was just a lot going on. And But in the midst of that storm, God sent these individuals, these three individuals that I least expected, to give me a word saying that, hey, Tiffany, you are my chosen. You, I love you. You are mine. That's what it, to me, that's what it meant. That God loved me enough to send me a word. To say, hey, even what you're going through right now, keep the faith. Keep going on because I have a destiny for you to fulfill. And you know what? God has been using me. To speak faith into other people's lives. And as these encounters, as these testimonies come in, I'm gathering them and I'm putting them together. And I'm going to get them to um, share their testimonies and their encounters also. Because we're living in a time where I, we, we get caught up. We get caught up in life and everything that is going on and everything sometimes seems like it's in an uproar and we feel we're being so hard on ourselves. But I want you to know today that God has use of you. I want you to keep the faith, not in yourself, not we can't keep the faith in our own abilities, but what God can do in our lives. So I'm giving you this sharing this word with you. Just like God sent those people to me, I'm coming to you today saying, God has use of you. You have a destiny to fulfill. Do not be afraid. You know what it is that is within you. You know what's within you. You know what the desires, the desires that you have to fulfill in your life. So be encouraged. Keep the faith. God has use of you. Of you.